Good evening, everyone. This is Michael for Bro JMR, and this is episode 109 of What's in the Bag. Um, got a whole bunch of new stuff for you. I spent way, way too much this time around. I didn't plan on it this way, but it just kind of happens. Kind of happened. Uh, we got some really cool horror sets that I've been looking for forever. We got a buttload of steel books, some cool VHS tapes, and some laser discs. Uh, so let's get started. Let's get started with those cool VHS tapes. Uh, the first one is Cary Grant and Ann Sheridan. I was a male war bride. Um, I picked this one up and the other one because these are both uh, UK imports. So. Um, I, I, I haven't come across any import VHS tapes yet, so that was pretty cool. Uh, the next one again is a UK import. Um, it was actually both 20th Century Fox. Uh, this one is uh, Marilyn Monroe in How to Marry a Millionaire. Next, oh, excuse me for that. Uh, the next we have is Tom Hanks' The Polar Express, presented in 3D. I found this at Half Price Books for on clearance for two bucks, and it's got both the regular and the 3D version, and it still comes with the 3D glasses. Still has them in there. That's really cool. So I thought for two bucks, I'll get I'll get a, a 3D DVD. That's kind of cool. I'll, I'll, it, it'll be entertaining enough just to watch it one time. So. Uh, of course, I've never seen that movie. I read the book when I was a kid, and I really enjoyed the book, and I was always a little wary on how they were going to turn that book into a movie. But now I get to experience it in 3D. Um, next, we have um, some steel books. I've got, uh, let's see, I got here, I thought I had more. Okay, uh, just two. Uh, DVD steel books. The first one is Boombox Taints 2 All Saints Day. There's the back of it. And the next one is uh, The Breed. It's um, it's about werewolves. That's all I know. It's about werewolves. It's got uh, Michelle Rodriguez, Oliver Hudson, Tara Manning, Eric Lively, and Bill Harper. Um, and I'm sure it's going to be... It's awful. I'm sure it's awful. It looks looks... It looks like your typical horror film, but it might be good. You never know. Uh, next, we have all three of the Maze Runner series when they released Death Cure, the, the last movie. They went ahead and released the other ones on uh, Steelbooks, and so Jonathan picked up all those. Got some really good art in them. I like them. And then there's, oh, I'm sorry. There's Maze Runner. There's Scorch Trials. And then there's Death Cure. And Death Cure also comes with a 24-page Origins comic book. Uh, next is some 4K stuff. First one is uh, Fifty Shades Freed. It, it um, completes my Fifty Shades collection on Steelbook. Um, I actually really I, I like the artwork on these Steelbooks. I know you're thinking why you would get that. Um, I do like the artwork on these Steelbooks. And the third one, Freed, wasn't actually that terrible. Uh, the next one is Jumanji. Uh, we read the original 1995 Jumanji. And then we also have Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. And finally we have the something I, I couldn't help pick up. Um, it's already got fingerprints all over it, which sucks. That's the only thing that sucks about steelbooks is to get fingerprints on them. Is the second anniversary uh, 4K edition of Deadpool with some new comic art and this one has some really neat stuff inside. It's got uh, a paper doll set, uh, excuse me, perfectly proportioned paper doll set, super sexy stickers, temporary tattoos, and cool dead, Deadpool uh, decals. Um, next we got laser discs. I've got, um, I went and picked up a bunch of the $2 ones, so I made my money stretch a little bit longer, but uh, I got uh, Tequila Sunrise. 
I got Evita, and Evita is a gatefold. So, show you the inside artwork. Uh, the next one is also a gatefold, uh, Cutthroat Island, which I know was a terrible movie, but uh, it's two bucks for the laser disc, whatever. And it's that, it's cool art on the inside. Uh, the next one is, man, I, I don't know wh why I paid two bucks for this, but probably just because I want to collect all these. But a very Brady sequel. Uh, it still has the Camelot music stickers, uh, price stickers on it. Originally $27.99 and was marked down to $14.99. And I got it for $1.99. So, yeah. Um, very Brady sequel. I will probably never watch this. And finally, uh, Father of the Bride Part 2, which is a pretty decent movie. Um, this one still has its original price sticker of $39.99 on the back. All right, finally. Uh, well, not finally. I did come across a couple of cassette tapes, and I'll just throw them up here real quick. Uh, Keep the Faith by Bon Jovi. The La Bamba soundtrack, which has brought back some memories because we used to listen to the, this all the time in car trips. And um, Motley Crue's Girls, Girls, Girls. Okay, finally, I got the Ultimate Scream Collection. This is the, uh, I'm dropping it. Uh, this is the collector, Special Collector's Edition, Ultimate Edition. Um, there's the slide out case, uh, and got Ghostface on the back, and Sydney on the front. And the case is all ripped up to look like it's been slashed, which is pretty neat. Um, this has. The all three movies, the exclusive bonus DVD ROM, and um, still has the book inside of it talking about the film and everything. And finally, I have something that I've been looking for for over a decade now, and I'm so excited that I found it. I've only seen it once in the past 10 years in the wild that I can remember, uh, or maybe twice. Uh, but the last time I saw it, the box was in terrible condition and it wasn't complete. But I found New Line Platinum Series, the Nightmare on Elm Street collection. Hopefully there's no glare, not enough of glare we can see Freddy in that. And then there's Freddy on the other side and the back side. And what's cool is all the spines make up uh, a picture of Freddy. This is the DVD collection. What's really excited about this is it still comes with the book that has um, all of the um, production notes from the original theatrical press kits of all the different movies in them. And most importantly, it has the 3D glasses still in the envelope. There's only got one pair in there. Um, Say it's got it's branded Nightmare on Elm Street, and what these what's so important about it, especially for this set that you have these glasses. Um, now there was re regular red and blue glasses, so I'm sure like the Polar Express ones would work as well. So um, you need them for the last 20 minutes of Nightmare Six. Freddy's dead the final nightmare because it's in 3d which was something huge like back in the day when it came out that was a really big deal and there's uh, there's a certain point in the film where um one of the characters gets some glasses to be able to see freddy in the dream world and that's when you put them on and everything becomes 3d and it's really really cool i i watched it about probably 12 years ago and so I'm really excited about getting to watch it again just that scene that's so cool so um, that's it um, like I said I spent way too much this time and I probably won't be getting anything else for quite a while so that's it for this episode I uh, thank you for joining me and seeing all this really cool stuff that we've collected over this past couple of weeks um, new total is 2834 uh, new steelbook total is 316, VHS is 413, Laserdisc is 147, and 4K is 19. So um, please uh, 
you know, like and subscribe if you like these videos. If you haven't already subscribed, um, be sh you know, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Um, we put out videos like this every week, and apparently somebody wants to take a shower right now. So um, thanks for watching, and blessed be. Good night.